Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at a collaboration done with Ami Leondor and New Balance on the 550 Lows. This is in the brown color. Let's take a quick CC. to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time thank you so much today we're going to be talking about the Ame Leon Dior collaboration done with New Balance on yet another 550 silhouette in a different colorway this time around we'll be discussing the brown color so again if you aren't familiar this released actually last year I pre-ordered these so got them around eight to nine months later uh, but super excited to have these in hand I also have the other two colors which came in purple uh, as well as the olive tone. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled this just really great color combination. Then we'll conclude with how well these are doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. So again, Ame Leon Dor is giving us these very vintage vibes. So we've got this kind of off-white color scheme for the soft, smooth leather on the front of the toe box. We've got hits of that brown, which is a nice kind of light brownish tone. I really do love the brown tone that they selected for this specific collaboration. We've got just off-white laces and then that brown colorway hits the tongue in the Om Leon Dor logo as well as the New Balance logo and then the trimming on that tongue is also in the brown colorway. Let's take a look at those details and move along to the side panels. So wrapping around to the side panels, that's where we're gonna get more hits of that brown tone on the N, which also has that more metallic-y kind of aged effect to it. It's outlined in an off-white eggshell kind of tone, and we've got more of that smooth leather wrapping around. The 550 is also in brown, as well as the top of the collar here on the side panel. As we wrap around to the back of the heel, we've got New Balance in brown on top of some off-white leather, and then underneath that, we have more hues of that brown tone. Then to complete the sneaker itself, we've got eggshell for the midsole and brown and eggshell for the outsole. As far as the box goes, again, we do have that vintage box. It is in a blue and red tone. Typically, they match the color of the sneaker to the box. This time around, they didn't with this collaboration. We also got additional laces as well. So we've got brown as well as cream. So if you're not filling these laces, you can obviously swap out for a different look.
Now let's talk about sizing. So as far as men's sizing goes in the 550, I feel like they run on the larger side. So I decided to go down half a size and they fit perfectly. So if you have higher Chanero feet like myself, I would recommend going half a size down. If you have flatter, wider feet, that would differentiate from my own. So you may want to stick to your own size preference because we do have two different types of feet. All right, so now let's jump into how I style this very vintage feeling sneaker. For this look, I wanted to go all cream just because I feel like aesthetically it works so well with the age feel of the sneaker. Since it is coming into the spring season here in New York, I decided to go with this really kind of springy, summery button down top and cream with some just simple cream denim pants. <laughs> decided to go with this sweater that's kind of a peachy tone with some brown that I felt like was the perfect brown for this sneaker and then I wore some just nice simple jeans and a darker denim colorway. to go with a cream denim jacket and a white bodysuit with some cream toned pants. Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $130 and these are actually doing the best out of the three colors. These are going between 160 to 220. So people are definitely loving this brown tone. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you on the next one.